In this lesson, we're going to talk about the number E, also known as Euler's number. Now, this is going to be a rather short lesson because E is just a number, and all of the rules that apply to all of the other numbers apply to E. So, this is more about definition and some notation, as opposed to a new skill. First, E is a transcendental number, which means it's irrational, but it was not created by a square root or a cube root or any of the other roots. So it belongs to the same family as pi. E, for all practical purposes, is approximately 2.7182. If you want more digits, then you can either look them up online or use your graphing calculator, but usually 2.7182 can deal with most of your needs. Now there are several definitions of E, and I'm going to give you one that says that E is the limit, as n approaches infinity, of the quantity 1 plus 1 over n raised to the nth power. And what this means is, as this n becomes infinitely large, this quantity here approaches the value of E. And this should look kind of familiar, this part here should remind you of the compound interest formula, which is going to be important when we talk about continually compounding interest. Now when you use E as the base of an exponential function, we call that the natural exponential function, and its inverse, log base E, is never written log base E, it's written ln of x. So when you see ln of x, that means you are taking log base e of x. It's called the natural log, and I always think of it as log natural to remember that it's ln and not nl. So ln of x is natural log of x, which is the inverse of raising e to the x power, which of course means that y equals e to the x is interchangeable with a natural log of y equaling x. So these two expressions um, can be converted into one another, depending if you needed it in exponential notation or logarithmic notation. And the log laws for natural log are exactly the same as they were for any other base. So the properties we talked about last class period are still applicable here. I just want to go over a couple of the basic ones just to remind you. Starting with this first one, the natural log of 1 is going to equal 0 because e to the 0 power equals 1, same as any other number except for 0. The natural log of e is going to be 1 because e to the first power is just e. The natural log of e to the x is going to be x and e to raised to the natural log of x is going to be x because they undo each other, remember. And then the uniqueness property, if the natural log of x equals the natural log of y, then x equals y. And these were exactly the same properties we had for logarithm, they're just written in the terms of natural log. And you could also do the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule in the language of natural log if you wanted to, but you don't really have to because it's just a logarithm. And really that's it for the number e. We're going to be working a lot with this in the next couple of class periods, so be ready.